guys, welcome to Zenematics. Uh, this is another video for our series where we're going to do integration questions one at a day, one at a time, till your exam day. So in today's video, we're going to do a very tricky situation with an integral, and I would highly recommend that you stop the video and think upon that question for a while, and then uh, go on to watch the solution. So let's start with the idea. The question is, <coughs> What do we have to integrate cos squared 2x? So the integral that we are facing is a cos squared 2x. If you try to take power as an operator, it does not work usually, because if we take power as an operator, we'll have cos 2x but as an NR operator, so if we have power as an operator, then the box will be inner function is cos 2x. The differentiation of inner function will become minus 2 sine 2x. Now we know we are not allowed to integrate this power unless differentiation of box is present outside the operator. And we're not allowed to introduce or remove variable terms. So we will be able to introduce negative 2, but we will not be able to introduce sine 2x. So what should we do over here? So this operator will be rejected. So this idea is not going to work. So this is the first approach that any student would take whenever you're facing cos squared 2x. Now, I would not call the idea that solves this question very intuitive because it's more of a learned way. It's more of a memory-based thing. So if you're looking at it for the first time, I would highly recommend that you try to remember what uh, we are going to use. The idea that we are going to use is a double angle identity for cos. So we have seen that cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And if I try to make cos squared subject over here, I will be left with cos squared theta will be 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So this is the double angle identity that you guys must have learned in your trigonometry section. And this is an identity that we will use for solving even powers of cos. For cos squared theta, this is the identity that we will use, one plus cos two theta over two. But as you guys can see, we cannot use this substitution straight away because we have single angle over here and we have two x in the question. So if I want to convert this angle to two theta, what I will have to do is if I make this two theta, then since this is a double angle identity, this will become four theta. So I'm going to write cos squared two theta. I will later on start writing as it as two x because x was the variable. Will be equal to one plus cos four theta over two. Now we have a substitution that can work for this question. And now let's see if this idea works or not. Now, I'm going to substitute this thing in the place of cos squared 2x, except for that I'm going to use x instead of theta. So let me just write it quickly. Cos squared 2x will be equal to one plus cos 4x divided by two, and this is a substitution that I'm going to take for cos squared 2x. Now let's go on and apply this substitution. This will become one plus cos 4x divided by two dx. Now it will become a simple integral in a while. We can see that two is common in the denominator. We're going to take this two outside the integral sign, we are allowed to take constants which are common outside the integral sign. 
and we will be left with 1 plus cos 4x. Now we know that we have to, whenever we have two terms which are being added or subtracted, we can integrate them separately. So let's keep this one over to outside and split this integral. We will have one integrated separately and we will have cos 4x integrated separately. Now this is a simple integral problem. We know that integration of one will be x with respect to x and for cos, let's take cos as our main operator for this section. If cos is operator, the inner function will become 4x. We need differentiation of box outside the operator before we can integrate this operator. So we know the, that box is 4x. So the differentiation of box would be 4. I cannot integrate this operator unless I have 4 outside the operator. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to introduce 4. And to do that, I will have to pay for it outside. Now once we have integration of box present outside, we're going to take three things and make them disappear. These things will, three things will disappear. And we are allowed to integrate the operator, which is cos. So we will write plus 1 over 4. We know that the integral for cos is sine x. So this will be sine 4x. This is the final integral. This is the final integral for cos squared 2x. The idea that I think you guys should remember is that whenever we are dealing with even powers of sine and cos, we always use double angle identities of cos to theta. And from there, you can make cos square or sine square as subject, and you can integrate these values. If you found this video useful, please share it with other people. If you have any suggestions you, or any questions, you can comment uh, in the box below. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.